The thing that really turns me on is the wonder of culture and that we're living in an era where all that's good and all that's bad is happening. On the one hand, we, we're living through a time when half of humanity's la languages are being lost in a generation, which means that we're losing potentially half of humanity's intellectual, social, spiritual legacy. But we're also living through a time where genetics has finally proven it to be true, something that philosophers have always dreamt to be true, and that it's the fact that we're all brothers and sisters. I, I don't mean that in the spirit of hippie ethnography. I mean, quite literally, studies of the human genome have left no doubt whatsoever that genetic endowment of humanity is a continuum. Race has finally been proved to be an utter fiction. We're all, in fact, descendants of a handful of people who walked out of Africa 60,000 years ago and then embarked on this incredible hegira, a diaspora of 2,500 generations in duration, 40,000 years, that carried us to every corner of the habitable world. Or that old Victorian idea that there was a sort of evolutionary ladder to success that went from the savage to the barbarian to the civilized to the strand of London has been absolutely debunked by modern science. Even the language we use still reinforces a 19th century idea. If the issue isn't the traditional versus the modern, it's about the rights of free people to choose the components of their lives, and it's also about asking ourselves what kind of world do we want to move into in the future. You know, the, the curse of humanity is cultural myopia. It has haunted us since the dawn of consciousness. The idea that, you know, I'm the real world and you're a crude facsimile of me. So we're at this literal cusp of history where we could be losing half of our legacy, but that does not have to happen. These cultures aren't destined to fade away as if by natural law. In every case, they're being driven out of existence by identifiable forces. And that's actually an optimistic observation because if human beings are the agents of cultural destruction, we can be the facilitators of cultural survival.